Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Radiant Historia! Since last time I killed all the soldiers around here and rested up at the end there, let's just vanish our way past them. Yeah, you can't even bump into them accidentally and get into a battle when you're under vanish, so that's pretty nice. But it does drain your MP, so we want to, uh, we want to stop, put a stop to that. So, it's handy every now and then. Not, not really as useful as other abilities that we've gotten. So, oh well. Yeah, yeah, that's true. <laughs> we caused the scene. <laughs> how old are you, Raul? I don't know how old he is. I would imagine not as old as Hugo, but then again, Hugo looks like he's 40. So, I, I don't know. I'm a man! I'm 40! Maybe you should have put on something that was... Oh, yeah, yeah, the... You put on a robe over a suit of armor. No wonder you're sweating your balls off. Oh, man. Is everyone wearing armor in their portrait? What woman? Oh, Rainy seemed to be okay. Oh, secretary. Well, I'm sure she's not important. No, no, she isn't, actually. She just died. That was fast. No, no, it was Hugo. I hate it when people say that. Oh, it was my fault. Even though the guy, he tried to kill me. Oh, but it was my fault. Didn't you already show that to him? Or, oh, no, he didn't have time to get it. show him that. He had to leave right away. That's right. Couldn't you have gone to uh, Raul's office at least and then gotten him out first? I mean, it's right next to Hugo's office. It's kind of right there. Son of a bitch must pay. See, I love how they set that mood in an RPG. You have to make the hero really, 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 really hate the villain. To give the player motivation to want to kill them. Otherwise, you just have the villain gone for half the game and it's like, uh, what the hell am I doing? Or I'll get lost and bored or something. Nuts. That would seem rather difficult to do all at once. Yeah, yeah, that is true. We're kind of right next door. But we got the barrier. What's the worst it could possibly do? Sure, why not? As long as she, he gives me some booty duty. Nah, nah. Just wiggle your hip. I guess when she wiggles her hips, that means she's saying yes. Where did the rocks go? I wanted to blow up more rocks. Nuts. Well, anyway, um, I fought all the soldiers back at Alistair, so that way I can just ignore these guys. Stripe, get out of the way! Get, get out of the way! Get out of the way of my monitor! I can't see what I'm doing. Bad kitty. But anyway, uh, so yeah, I'm at uh, level 33 now for stack. Just take my word for it. But, uh, yeah, normally I would have fought these guys, but I figured, well, let's fight a few extra soldiers back home, and then we can do all that. Uh, I don't have to edit out as much. Okay, looks like we're all set and ready to go. Got Rainy and Marco in my party there. Well, that was fast. Uh, we got arrows pointed at your head. For boss time! This is where the difficulty starts to pick up. Unless you know exactly what you're doing. So, first things first. Uh, let's use those sleep wings that I bought earlier. I hope you bought them earlier. How would you like to sleep? Yeah, the soldiers there, they are susceptible to sleep. So, that's the first thing we want to do. Put the two soldiers to sleep. Then those little crystal things will be a whole lot easier. So, let's take them out. It would be a very, very, very good idea to have Rainy at level 30 by now. So that way she can learn G-Fire. It's like G-Money, except you die. So, first things first, 
Let's use uh, Air Assault on one of those crystals. You can't move them, but you can launch them into the air. So let's do that. So that we can deal extra damage with G-Fire. Ha! There we go. One shot! There we go. That's how you take care of those auto crystals. Just because they can't be moved underground doesn't mean you can't launch them. Some underground enemies can't. But since these guys aren't underground, we should be fine. But yeah, you can't move them around. Just You can only launch them in the air. Oh, but other than that, that's okay. But yeah, G-Fire, Greater Fire, whatever you want to call it. Let's just uh, switch some turns around there. Okay. The rest of these guys should be pretty easy. But yeah, like I said, those guys are susceptible to sleep. The auto defender is susceptible to fire. And that makes life pretty easy there. So, um, no, no, actually, let's, uh, let's go with the G-Fire. And then relaunch them into the air. You can launch them twice into the air to launch them even higher. But, uh, I don't think that really does anything. They might take slightly more damage, but if they do, it's insignificant. Launch them into the air. Yeah! All right. Yeah, that one would normally be harder if you don't have sleep wings, but well, I did. And you could just use the change command on them over and over again as they sit there and do nothing. So, that's pretty nice. I guess. How would you know about that? How do you even know anything about Celestia? Unless he's a spy. No. No, no. Uh, Raul's clean. What, what do you say that? Oh! Nuts. I heard Hugo... I don't know if this was in the game or in some Ultimania thing that I heard or whatever, but I heard Hugo led Alistair to burn Celestia down to the ground 20 years ago or something, and that's why uh, they have this barrier now, so that way that can't happen anymore. So, if that's something later in the game, well... Sorry, but uh, I, don't know, I just felt like explaining it. I don't think it's later in the game. I don't think they ever explain that. But anyway, so yeah. That's why they have a burning hatred of Alistair and humans. I would hate them too if they burned my little village to the ground. Well, you got the barrier. You can just sit on your ass and do nothing. In fact, in most RPGs, that's usually the better course of action. But then, you know, we wouldn't have a game. Well, I would imagine Grenorg would have done the same thing. So. Well, Cygnus seems to be nice. Of course, we haven't seen much out of them, but... Well, they're leaving us alone. True that. See, I can talk street viewers. Well, he was going to invade you anyway. What do they need an excuse for? Everyone seems to be motivated to... Uh, kill all the furries anyway. A critical decision? Hmm. I have to think about this one carefully. Well, you would just close off the village. Yeah, that's true. Oh. Well, you have grass and farmland, don't you? Oh. Yeah, that is true. Uh, why did you fade out to black there? What was the point of that? To pretend that, what, five minutes passed or something? Uh, I don't know. Yours. You got me on that one. So we're going to take a break and 
think about our situation. Well, the only way we can solve problems in RPGs is violence. What other solution is there? Well, let's see whatever, what everyone else has to say. Maybe they got some good information. Well, they sent two soldiers and a couple crystal things. What do you mean? You set up the barrier. What do you do? Set up another barrier? Wait, what'd you say? Oh, I thought you didn't have something new to say. Yeah, we are nightmares! Good thing you we're on your side, huh? At least all the competent Alistellians are, are here. Fortunately, none of the other soldiers are. Although... They are getting a lot harder. And they will! Oh. Nuts. We still haven't found a way to fix his uh, gauntlet. Yeah, we're doing the best we can killing people for Rosh. I know he's not giving experience while we're at it, but uh, yeah, yeah, that's uh, yeah, same difference. Okay. How's it going? Well, we got everyone here now. Yeah, all of us together, forever and ever, with Ott. Get me out of here! Get me out of here! No, no. But anyway, you have to, t in order to move on, you have to talk to Rosh and then come back here and talk some more. Yeah, I just thought he wanted to be Mr. Popular in high school, but then all of a sudden, holy cow, he just took over. Well, yeah, I could have told you that. We didn't need to go to Alistair for that. Too bad there's not a travel node there for the side quests, but oh well. We'll go over that next time. Okay, how's it going? Well, sure, he's 60. How hard could he possibly be? Well, he can't get in, so that would be a problem. Why not? Meanie. How's it going? Oh, you're welcome. Oh, for a second there, I thought they misspelled course as, well, course with an A. Yeah, yeah, I'm really into that. Um, no, no, I'll, I'll bite my tongue on that one again. If I still have a tongue to bite left after all of the times in this LP. Oh, yeah. Let's head on over there then. Well, I thought he already conquered Gnorg. Hmm. If only we had a commander to lead this army. If only. Oh, well, yeah, we got you. Yeah, the, the hairstyle, it, it just doesn't work. The soldiers won't follow me. Whatever hairstyle Raul has, I don't know. I don't know much about hairstyles. Sorry, H.C. Bailey does not is not very styling and profiling. So who do we talk to? I thought we had to talk to Raul. Or, oh, okay, okay. Now we got it going. I thought we Raul didn't. I thought Raul was supposed to activate this cutscene, but I guess not. What do you mean? I thought they're neutral. Oh, yeah. Remember we heard about that town earlier? Garland. He will knock them all down! Well, he might. Oh, 
who are you talking about? Uh, that's uh pretty powerful. Oh well, I'm sure they can be trusted. We'll learn more about who they're talking about later. How would he know? Well, whatever. I know who they're talking about, but I'm not going to tell you. And I'll be honest, viewers, we're not going to find out for a while. This is a long game, especially for a DS game. Yeah, that is true. They'll get plus three, plus three in trampling. You'll be run down by them. No, nah, no, nah, that's another game. Well, you guys have magic, don't you? Besides, I mean, we... You know, we took rookies into battle before and kicked ass. Didn't lose a single soldier. Well, if Raul can't do it, well, I can take a command. Why not? Absolutely. What do you mean? Why not? You're totally qualified. Incompetent! Now, I heard that one of the reasons Stock doesn't want to take command, well, two reasons. One, he doesn't like people uh, dying under his command. And I heard another reason is that so that way he can work behind the scenes with the White Chronicle. So, that does kind of make sense. Because if he were a commander, he wouldn't just be able to sneak out and do whatever he's doing and save the world. Yeah, no way we can get Rosh going. Hmm. Yeah, it's ludicrous speed. Even though I only knew him for, I don't know, a week. Now, now that would be a bad idea. Not ra yeah, can, not rainy in command. I'd rather have Ott in command. Well, we need a commander, period. But who should we put in command? Raul or the Shattered Rosh? Find out next time on Let's Play Radiant Historia. This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.